is he sucky? So today I'm going to be answering all the Lolita questions I asked you guys to ask me. Um, I'll do another one of these sometime in the future as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to do the YouTube comments first, or questions first, and I'm looking at my laptop over here. So, uh, Maga, or I'm sorry, Ma Lo asks, do you work? How do you wear Lolita to work, or do you not? How many times a year do you dress in full Lolita? I dress in full Lolita a couple times a month. Um, not as much as what I used to. I used to actually dress in Lolita every single day, and that was when I was in high school and just getting out of high school before I started working. And then, yes, I did wear Lolita to work at one of my places that was a sit-down job, and I do have a video on that, which I told you about. Um, and right now, I don't wear Lolita to work because one place is all like is all dark attire, which technically you could wear a bit more casual Lolita to work, but it's really inconvenient to wear skirts there, so I don't I don't wear um, anything puffy there. And my other job, which uh, I would put, I posted on Instagram, so I work at a Hot Topic as well, and it's really compact in there, so having a puffy skirt is just not ideal there at all. So no, I don't wear Lolita to work right now. Big Box Mail asks, have you ever met another Lolita on the street or anywhere in public before? If so, what was your experience? Uh, yes, I have met a Lolita on public a couple times. Um, one was the very first time I went to a Chinese New Year celebration here in Vegas. And I didn't know anyone else did Lolita at all. I didn't know about the local Lolita community or anything. And I saw her, and she saw me, and she came up to me. Um, actually, she saw me first. I didn't really see her, but she came up to me. She's like, oh, are you part of the Las Vegas Lolita community? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, huh? What? What are you talking about? No? But, hey, you do Lolita. I do Lolita. Hey, that's cool. And I was really shy. So, yeah. Um, and then I kind of found out, like, my friend... Jasmine, who you know is Lady Melin on here, she does Lolita, she does a lot of Lolita videos as well. I'll put the link to her channel down below. If for some reason you guys don't know who she is, you need to subscribe to her. I've seen Lolitas in public, like one time when I was in San Francisco, I saw a Lolita in Daiso and she was really cute, but I was really, really shy to go up to her. Um, I just, I'm not very good in social situations, and I always get kind of anxiety and that thing that you think people are going to think down about you and like not like you and everything so I'm kind of hesitant to approach other people <laughs> so yeah but she was really cute and adorable and I don't know she looked really nice so it kind of like it put me off <laughs> but I encourage you if you don't know any Lolitas don't be like me go say hi to them alright so Jim Fukuyama asks I am very new to Lolita, as like an actual fashion, I only knew, I uh, knew, I only knew what I knew <laughs> from anime and Google. My question is, what do things like JSK and other abbreviated terms like that mean? I tried to Google them, but kept getting all kinds of different answers that left me confused. I'm pretty sure that there actually is a blog post somewhere that sits down and explains all the terms. I know I've come across this a couple times. I can't think of a site off my head uh, right away, but JSK means jumper skirt, uh, OP means one piece, OTK means over the knee. Those are probably gonna be the three most common terms that you're gonna see. Uh, I'll go ahead and make a video uh, showing an example of these abbreviated terms and what they mean. So that should help out a lot of newbie love leaders. So I know when I first started, I'm like, what is all this jargon? <laughs> so, yes. Big Highland asks, what singular piece of advice can you give to those of us who are ignorant but wish to understand? And um, we actually had a conversation that wasn't going the best. Uh, this person stumbled across one of my other videos and tried to connect it to the book Lolita, which I've had that uh, happened multiple times, and I'm always there to kind of shoot that down. I don't think I've ever met any Lolita that enjoys being called a Lolita from that book. Yeah, I don't think I've, I mean, I know the readers who have read the book and think it's uh, wonderfully written and stuff. I've not read the book. I have no desire to read the book. I already know what it's about and it's not something that I like if you watched one of my more serious previous videos. The best thing I can do is recommend my introducing Lolita video. I explain exactly what Lolita is and isn't 
and I gave examples and everything. So that's everything that I have to say to explain about Lolita in a nutshell. Julia Sivan asks, where do you get your Lolita dresses and do you own any body line? If so, what is your favorite dress from them? So uh, my Lolita dresses, the one I'm actually wearing right now is a skirt. Um, it, my grandma made it. Uh, this shirt actually came off of eBay. This is a beautiful blouse that I was so lucky to find on eBay. And once in a great, great, great while, you will actually find an, an authentic brand piece on Lolita or on eBay. Um, but yes, I do own a couple body line pieces. I own the carousel skirt and I have the antique clock in the pinkish kind of colorway, um, the OP which I wish I had the skirt. Um, I like OPs a lot, but I mostly have skirts. Um, they So I get them from friends as well, um, and I like lace market. So yes, that is what I do. Um, I haven't actually bought from a brand website. It's just the hype is real, and I can wait for new releases to just kind of pass. So I would just wait till it goes on lace market. and. Buy it that way because that's a lot less intimidating, and I'm not one of those people that really get into like, oh my gosh, like, it, I would give me anxiety. <laughs> so, no, no anxiety for Isaki. Um, but yeah, body line is fine if that's what you want to do. A lot of people will recommend that starting off, um, and I did recommend it, and now I'm, I'm one of those people that's kind of leaning towards Taobao brands. And I want to point out that Lady Maylene is also going to be making that how to buy off of Tabelle video soon. I'm going to keep bugging her until she makes that video for you guys because she is the person to go to. Um, yeah, so look forward to that video. Go subscribe to her. <laughs> Maggie Zanbach asks, I am thinking about becoming a Lolita. I'm just not sure my parents will approve. Do you have any advice on how to tell them slash convince them? And like I told you, I have a vid video specifically for that, that's the same video introducing Lolita to um, your friends, family, whoever else has out there when they see Lolita because once they hear Lolita, they will have that misconception and try to link it to the book, which is not what we're going for. So that video has, like I said, everything I want to say about telling someone about Lolita in it. It's all there in a nutshell for you guys. Use it. Beth Lumsden asks, are puffy shorts okay in Lolita? Um, I'm not exactly sure what you mean by puff, puffy shorts. There are bloomers, which are an undergarment piece which you can wear underneath your skirt if you want. Or you can wear, um, I know there's another specific name for them and I can't think of it off the top of my head. But in one of the boy styles, you know, like Kadona, um, they have the black trousers and they do puff out a little bit. Kind of like how you would see riding short, riding, riding pants puff out just a tiny bit. Um, Yes, I've seen them definitely used in the Kodono fashion style, if that's what you're interested in. K-pop Collections asks, How old do you think you should be to start dressing Lolita? Because I have already have a few Fairy K dresses, but I want to go to Lolita is 14, a good age. You can start Lolita fashion whenever the heck you want. If you're ready to go ahead and jump into it and wear it out in public, there is no age limit. Lolita can start as young as you want, to as old as you want. There isn't a adorable video about this lady who is a mom and she has dresses for her little girl and for herself and they match and it's adorable and I think the person who made them is also the person who designs for Hanu Lee which is one of my favorite brands uh, so it, you're never too old or too young I know people from all over the age range that dress in Lolita and it's awesome so go for it <laughs> Harmony Rogers as I actually messaged you on Facebook about this, and again, I don't have Facebook anymore, I don't use it. Um, I briefly reactivated to get a picture of someone who passed away. Um, I don't have Facebook though up anymore, so if you message me or try to do the Facebook if it still lets you, I'm not there, I'm not going to see it. You can reach me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, or you can private message me here or email me at the business email, everything's always down below. Uh, but she asks, I got a JSK from someone who, uh, someone I don't know who, and the problem is it doesn't fit me in the chest area. Should I alter it or no? A lot of people are kind of like one way or another. You, 
people will either yes alter it or no don't ever alter it don't touch it resell it and it's completely up to you usually if it's too big you can alter it if it's too small it's a lot harder to alter especially up top if you really really love the piece go to a very trusted tailor someone that you know is going to do a good job especially if it is a brand piece and I'm, they might be able to work with you um, or you can resell it on lace market and try to find the piece in a more accurate size for yourself uh, I have a JSK that I really really love that you've seen me wear it is the Twilight Fairy one and it is much too big on me unfortunately I kind of overlooked one of the pieces of information I thought it was going to be smaller and it wasn't so I have uh, temporarily kind of taken it in in the back but I have it so that it can easily be undone and no damage is done whatsoever to the JSK. Okay, so moving along to the Instagram questions. This is from Clementina Madness. I hope I've got that right. She asked me three questions. So the first one is, what do you think about being a Lolita without brand dresses? That's fine. Okay, so the thing is, Lolita is not here to put you in a box. There are certain things that you do need to file, certain gut certain things you need to follow, certain guidelines, such as wearing a petticoat. But you do not have to have brand to be a Lolita. That is not what Lolita is about. Besides, if you break it down, someone, just like you and I, had to design those designs for the brand and they became a brand. They just weren't magically, I'm brand. No, it doesn't work like that. So wear what you want to wear, whether it's body line, bow bow, brand, anywhere in between. You don't have to have brand to be a Lolita. Second question, what advice can you give if I'm a Lolita but the leaders of my of the Lolita community in my city hate me? Okay, um, <laughs> that's a little bit tricky because one, why do they hate you? From your previous question, I might take it as that they are brand whores and they're on the duck up snobby side of Lolita fashion and if that's so I'm very sorry you can do a couple different things one you can have if you have friends and the thing is I I left Facebook which means I kind of don't have as much contact with my local Lolita community anymore and I have friends who I met through Lolita fashion through the group and I have friends who I found out were Lolita. So I don't like to really go out anymore to groups of people that I'm not really friends with because I just have social anxiety and a lot of different things. So I'd rather be with my friends and have a small little meetup with people that you know I really care about and that care about me compared to being with a big group of people that I don't really talk to. And so that's kind of my thing now. And I think everyone should not do something just because. And I'm going to give you that same advice. Is don't try to be part of the group if they are complete assholes. If they're mean to you, if they're bullying you, if they think that you're not Lolita enough because you don't have brand or anything like that, forget them. You can go off and do your own thing. You can be a solo Lolita. If you have other friends, maybe say, hey, can you want to dress Lolita with me one time or whatever you want to do. Or you could be that one person that just is you. You, no matter who it is, who you hang out with or whatever, you could be that one special cutesy Lolita in the whole group. Okay. And then there's the third question. What advice can you give me if I'm a Lolita but I don't have any Lolita friends? Like I said, do what makes you happy. That's what every Lolita video that I try to put out is about. Is I want you guys, no matter who you are, where you are, I want you to be happy with being a Lolita don't do it because other people do it don't do it to please other people do Lolita fashion because it's you and it makes you happy and you feel cute and and special and like a freaking princess or a doll or however you 
the hell you feel when you wear Lolita fashion. You don't have to have Lolita friends to go out and dress Lolita. I've been there, I've done it, and honestly, I didn't care because I finally found something that made me happy and that I could do. And I love it. I love Lolita fashion. So it doesn't matter how much crap comments I get or how many people talk about me behind my back. And the same should apply to you. And I want you guys to be strong enough to be that way and just let whatever, let all the negativity roll off you like a water does on a duck's back. Because Lolita, as some other people will say, is like your armor. So let it defend you even against other Lolitas. Be yourself. Be happy. Do what you want to do. Okay? Okay. Right, next is from Stuck in Idle Hell. What advice would you give to someone who wishes to buy a Lolita but their parents won't allow them to buy online and they don't know how to sew? Ooh, that's tricky. So there's... You can do kind of what I did at the beginning, is when you first, when I first got into Lolita, and this was quite a while ago, um, I didn't know about brands. I didn't know where to buy it online. You can go to the stores and find pieces that are lolia -able. Like this, for example, um, is off-brand, but it is very Lolita. And that's what I did, is I went to the stores and nowadays, it's really, really, really hard. Um, I don't know where you live. You live in the U.S. or a different country or wherever at all you live. But it was it was really easy before to find frilly uh, Victorian kind of blouses. Like, I had a ton. And I wish that they had still fit me because I would have so many. And they just they were great. They were beautiful. And they weren't extremely expensive. They were probably ranged from like $15 to $20 a blouse, which was really cool. So you can go out uh, once you really understand Lolita fashion and what is and isn't Lolita fashion, then you can go to stores and just start looking through things. Look for white frilly shirts. Go up to people who work at the stores like, hey, do you have anything that kind of looks like this? Work around it as much as you can until you are able to buy online and able to do your own thing. So it is a little hard um, or find your local community try to find them on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, just Google your city, Lolita community, or you know, you know your state, or I don't know what it's going to be called, it could be called so many different things, but find your Lolita community because they might actually have like clothing swaps or sell things within one another. There's another way you don't have to buy online, you can buy within your community. Okay, next is from Unsuzua. I know you've already answered this, but some other people may want to know, do you have to wear makeup? No, 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 no. And there is another Lolita, and I don't want to, I'm not going to say the Lolita name because I know, I, I sometimes I get like, the other YouTuber Lolita's a little bit mixed up because two of them have very similar names. So I'll find the video and put it down below for her. No, you do not have to wear makeup for a Lolita. Lolita should not put you in a box. I'm sorry this video is getting kind of long, but you guys need to hear this, and I'm here to answer your questions all the time. That's why I, I always am answering comments and everything. But Lolita should not put you in a box. If you don't like to wear makeup, don't wear makeup. If uh, you have tattoos, that's fine. If you want to wear piercings, someone asks me if it's okay to keep your piercings in Lolita. This is your own personal choice. Lolita fashion is that it's a fashion. It's shirts, it's tops, it's skirts, it's um, shirts and tops. And I'm being redundant. Anyways, it is clothing. Okay. Yes, there's a whole kind of look that you can do with your hair and with makeup. Like I was talking in my vlog channel, I talked about how I do my Lolita makeup compared to normal everyday makeup. But then I'm not doing gothic Lolita at all right now as well. So, Lolita fashion, as I said, is not supposed to put you in a box. Lolita fashion should feel liberating, which means it should let you feel free to be yourself. If you feel like you're being confined, you're doing something wrong. If you're too concerned about other people's opinions, you're doing something wrong. Wear Lolita fashion because it expresses you, 
because it makes you happy. I cannot repeat this enough, and I get that so many times, is can I Lolita, wear Lolita fashion if blah, 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 blah. And that's in my Frequently Asked Questions Lolita's video as well. Check out the Lolita playlist. I, I've answered a lot of the questions kind of over and over again. This kind of goes hand in hand with the next question, which is from Andrew's friend. Hello, Ashley. Um, do you see a lot of older Lolitas in your community, late 20s, early 30s? Yes, in our local community, the age range is all over the place. From high school into the 30s, um, I think like in the early 30s is one of our oldest, if I remember right. I'm kind of bad at remembering people's ages, but yes, I have seen people all over. Um, there's even a lady who emails me who is on the older side and has like steampunk influence and background and whatnot and she loves Alita and she does more of the aristocratic style and you can be Lolita however don't like I said let this be limiting this should be liberating always keep that in mind do what you want like I said the guidelines of Lolita are there so that it keeps Lolita fashion Lolita fashion um, so you don't, you know, I mean, sure you can take Lolita influence and apply it to other things, but then it's not going to be Lolita fashion, but whether you, um, do makeup or, you know, whatever your age is or your body shape, etc., etc., that is not defined in Lolita, and it shouldn't be, because Lolita fashion is for everyone, no matter your age, gender, whatever, okay? So... That's kind of all I have to say, and I know this kind of got a little bit more on the serious side. <laughs> so hopefully this has answered your questions and this helped you guys out. There are going to be people who disagree with me because, well, there's just assholes in the world. So there's a bad apple and a lot of bunches out there. So whether it's the Lita fashion, goth fashion, whatever you want. But remember this too, is... If you really care about other people's opinions, you wouldn't be able to do the lead of fashion, would you? Have a lovely day. May the force be with you.